What's up? Welcome back, everyone. Today we have a really fun uh, episode. I think that uh, yeah, it should be <laughs> it should just be kind of fun to play with. Uh, we're going to work on the Bitmoji API today, and so if you've been following along, we're building a tool for helping um, the helping with the video production process. And so one of the things that I do for some thumbnails is I use a Bitmoji or Bitmoji icon. So you can see here with the ecom store, we've got Bitmojis, and this is this is one of my more popular videos here: memory card in React. Uh, building a memory card game in React that has Bitmojis that's like a pair uh, between my son and I. And so one thing that I wanted to do is just add support to our existing tool for, for generating thumbnails. So we have this Rails application that's running uh, that we've built a bunch of stuff on. If you're curious about how we are building thumbnails, we have an episode about that, um, both creating them from an SVG, converting them to a PNG, uploading them to the YouTube API, we also have an uh, episode about taking a green screen photo. So if you want to go check those out, uh, I'd uh, welcome you to. this. In this episode, what we're going to do is extend our thumbnail tool so that we can use the Bitmoji kit, log in, and then just like select one of the stickers uh, and then apply that to our thumbnail. So that, that should be the goal for today, and <laughs> I think it should be pretty fun. Um, so the, the first thing that I wanted to do was uh, go over to this Bitmoji API here. So this is from Snapchat. Um, and you'll see that it is available for iOS, Android, and web. We're going to use the web version today. Um, so you can look at a bunch of different tutorials and references uh, and sample applications. And I think that it should be pretty straightforward to get up and running with a sticker picker that is like just purely front end. So all JavaScript, it'll look like this. There's like a button that you can click on and then it will open a dialogue where you can um, authenticate with, with, uh, with Snapchat. And then you can just pick one of the stickers from Snapchat, and that has like a transparent background, pretty nice. Um, so if we jump in here and we look at, they have, let's see, adding a Bitmoji kit icon with HTML. Um, and so the process is that you, you add a div and then you add just like a bunch of JavaScript um, to mount that div. And they actually have a pretty complete example here uh, that I think we might wanna just copy like the their final example, which I believe is this one. Yeah, so this is the example full code. So I am going to, first I'm gonna generate a controller. So Rails generate a controller and we'll call this one like thumbnail stickers and we'll just give it a new action or like a new view. Um, and then here we can go into the thumbnail stickers new. Uh, let's see, like add a sticker to a thumbnail. All right, so I think what makes the most sense is to start from the code that we already have written for thumbnails. So if you recall, um, if we jump over to our video automation tool here and then go into like any, uh, any episode, we've got one here that's called record a video with JavaScript in Ruby on Rails. Um, and the UI is still pretty nasty. But if we go to slash thumb, we get this tool for generating these thumbnails based on the text of the title and the category of the video. And so this first one is an SVG, then it generates um, you know, uh, PNGs and renders those so that we can save them. Uh, and then this button here, this upload thumbnail button will actually like send it to the YouTube API. But for now, I'm just gonna copy the same code that we used in there and just mess around with it before we get too far. So I'm sorry, before we uh, actually upload to YouTube. So we're gonna keep that as a separate thing. Um, so I'm gonna remove this code that uh, makes the upload call. And let's just make sure that this is working. So now if we go to like thumbnail stickers slash new, ah, right. So we don't actually have a video object here. We can just use whatever like the first video is, video.first.thumb SVG. Okay, so now we have some SVGs that are rendering. That's cool. So now the goal is to add a button here that when we click it, it will authenticate with Snapchat and let us pick a Bitmoji that we can drop into our thumbnail. So, <laughs> all right, so this is how this works. We're gonna, this is gonna be our button at the very top. So we'll just add that here. Um, and then the next step is that we wanna add all of this JavaScript. So we'll kind of like go through this in a second here. All right. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's take a look at what all of this is doing. All right, so we are adding this new function to the window called snap kit init. So this is like gonna be 
and the, the code that is called to initialize SnapKit. And then at the bottom, we have a, an immediately invoked function expression here, which is going to just like install the, uh, the login bitmoji.js um, script tag from SnapKit. Uh, and then I believe once this is loaded, it will execute that, um, it'll execute this like SnapKit init function. And here we're gonna like tell it which, where our button is. So this my bitmoji sticker picker icon target is the same as this class that we have up here on the div. The next thing is that we have some UI options. Um, this is actually where we're gonna we're gonna do some important work in the future. So this is where um, like when a sticker is picked, run this function. So this is what we're gonna we're gonna execute. It's a little it's kind of fun how they've implemented this with. Uh, it's it's interesting. It's not super common to have like function and then a named function as a property. I think in fact that like JavaScript might do this for you now by default if you use the object syntax, like it'll give you this name, whatever. Uh, <laughs> web picker position bottom right. I don't know what that does, but uh, we'll keep going. Here we have login params. We need to pass in our client ID and a redirect URI because when you click on like login with Bitmoji, it needs to go do the OAuth flow with Bitmoji. So let's go to the next step here, which is uh, we need to actually like set up an application in the developer portal. So you can sign in, uh, you can sign in with your Snapchat account. Uh, and then here I already have like one old app that I was playing around with. Um, so I'm gonna click add app. So I'm gonna create a new app here. We'll just call it like video automations. I don't know. And then a category, sure, education. It's like a tool for managing videos on YouTube. And then our privacy policy. I actually, I'm not, I'm not sure if we need to like do any of that. We do need the login kit and we want the avatar and we do need the Bitmoji kit. So we'll activate both of those. Now for the login kit down here at the bottom, we have to add a redirect URI. So this is gonna be the URL to which we'll redirect users when they click on the button. So in development, we wanna come back just like jump back into this thumbnail stickers.new. So we'll just use that as our redirect URI, thumbnail stickers slash new. So we click add URI and now we have this like redirect URI that we'll come back to. Um, the next thing we need to do is get our, get our keys. Um, so here you have uh, two different environments. You have your production environment and your staging environment. So I'm just gonna use the client ID from staging. And I think, yeah, I th it's totally safe to share these because these are gonna be just embedded in the client. So I think that's fine. So I'm gonna put that in here. And then the redirect URI is going to be um, the URI that we used earlier. Okay. All right, so this is the, these are the scopes that we want, the display name, the avatar. All right. And then it's just gonna mount, it'll mount that sticker icon given those, I'm sorry, it'll, it'll call mount bitmoji sticker picker icons, which uh, is gonna take in all these options that we just configured. So the login params, the UI options, and the Bitmoji picker icon class. So if we refresh the page, look at that. We've got like this little Bitmoji icon up here now. So if we click on that, we can say continue with Snapchat and this will uh, invalid redirect URI. Let's see if we have, uh, if we have this localhost 3000 thumbnail sticker slash new. And what did we save over here? Um, see initial version thumbnail sticker slash new. Maybe we have to click submit for review. It's not like ready yet, but I think that's the same URI. So that should work, I think. Let's see, continue with Snapchat. Invalid redirect URI. Okay. Um, aha. Okay, so staging, I hadn't selected which version that it should be active on and the version, the version number has the redirect URI embedded. So I wonder if that is it. So we're gonna refresh and walk through. Okay, that was it, that was totally it. Okay, so the key there was making sure to select from the, um, to select from setup in the staging environment. When you're using your client ID, you also need to have your initial version selected. Uh, okay, so now that we've got that initial version selected, we can say continue. Uh, continue, this will redirect us back to our page here. And now we can just pick 
uh, or we can click on stickers. And when you click on the stickers, you'll notice that in the, in the console, we're logging out the URL to that sticker. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, so the next thing we wanna do is like, when the, when the sticker is clicked, add it to our SVG or add it to our like thumbnail that we're generating. Um, all right, so the, let's, let's render these again. Render these back onto the page, the thumbnails. Um, let's see, right. Okay, so now we've got our thumbnails on the page and we can still, we can still select. So we've got our, our morning or whatever. Okay, so let's go implement, let's go implement the step here. So when we click on a sticker, the callback is passed the URL to the image for the Bitmoji. And what we want to do is we want to take that Bitmoji and add it to our, our SVG or our, our uh, HTML canvas. So what we want to do is say something like ctx.drawImage and we need to pass in an image object and the location. So we'll just pass it the top left corner to start. And this image object is gonna be a new image and we need to set the image's source equal to this bitmoji URL. And then we should, I think this might actually draw it onto the context, let's, or onto the, the canvas, let's see. So if we, um, if we pick that bitmoji, look at that, oh, awesome. Okay, super cool. So now this ended up being converted or like added to, um, to the image. Um, and we got our picker all set up, so that's awesome. Uh, let's see, so what is the last piece here? So we kind of wanna be able to draw it on a specific spot. So I'm not exactly sure the best way to do this. Um, I kind of wonder if we should just guess for now. Let's just like make it 500 uh, and 500 and see where this thing lands. So if we say we pick an image, doesn't matter which one. Click morning. Okay, so 500, 500 got us pretty close. Um, let's actually inspect this and see if we can... Um, ah, right, we can't really... Yeah, there's not like a super easy way to move that around. I wonder if there's a way to like click and drag that and then place it exactly where we want it. Um, yeah, probably, but for now, for now, let's just keep, let's just keep scooting it over. Okay, getting warmer, getting warmer. I think that's pretty good actually. All right, so that's how you can use the Bitmoji sticker API to, uh, to generate or to authenticate to Bitmoji and then add stickers to your UI. Uh, pretty fun little tool. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this content useful, I'd really appreciate a quick like. Otherwise, I really appreciate you, your time and attention. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.